welcome to week six of the plant update and we're gonna do stuff a little bit differently this week and we're gonna start out with everything that I harvested. So we're gonna start with the Swiss chard which I harvested and made into a like a Chinese stir fry with a lot of greens and veg and a little bit of pork. Then we had some burgers with some of the mixed green microgreens. They were delicious. And then yesterday I had uh, made some fish and we tossed a lot of dill onto that and made like a dill sauce. We want to talk about what's going on this week. I've still got tons of mustard microgreens left. We only used a little bit. The spinach, Swiss chard, and lettuce are growing well. They're probably going to go in cubes in the next couple days. I finally remembered what's in here. It's green peppers. I have one that poked up and I'm super jazzed about it. We're going to get that in a cup pronto. Moved all the baby radishes into a big crat key style container. It's still pretty close to the light because they're still babies, but it'll probably be on a shelf too sometime next week. We've got a bunch of baby plants still babying over here. The radishes are getting nice and big. Um, the green peppers are doing well. The habanero in the back is doing very well as well. We've got one little lettuce back here that there's something funky going on with the leaf. This is definitely a nutrient deficiency of some kind. We have to look up what's going on and then try to help them out. Down here, the basil is uh, getting huge. I'm definitely going to have to harvest all of this basil sometime, probably today or tomorrow, and make pesto. I want to do like a chickpea pesto type thing. I still have a ton of dill. The cilantro, I feel like, has grown back a ton as well. The Swiss chard, even though I harvested like a ton of it, is coming back really well as well. The lettuce is doing good. The tomatoes are still putting out flowers. Nothing's red yet, but there are lots of little baby tomatoes developing. So I think I just have to be patient. And you will notice that there are no peppers upstairs or like bigger bonnie tomatoes because they've moved downstairs partially for space and also partially because the cat kept eating the jalapenos. Do you miss your jalapeno plant? Yeah. You just, yeah. I haven't done a ton with the mushroom beds outside. Um, it's been raining a lot this week, so I haven't really had to water them. Mother Nature's done it for me, but I'm gonna throw some coffee grinds in there sometime today. I'm happy to report after 23 days of uh, germinating, we've got three good strawberry seeds that are coming up. There is another one that's coming up through here, but it's still a wee plant. I was hoping for at least three good plants. Um, this, I don't think it's big enough to house six strawberries, but three is fine. I'm fine with that. All right, welcome to the basement setup. It's pretty dark down here. Um, I haven't really finished putting together the basement layout in a way that I want it to look yet. It's still in progress, but I am filming kind of my setup and planning process. And here is, or are, wow, grammar, uh, all the tomatoes. I'm probably gonna string them a little bit today so they're a little less wonky. Um, and these are the jalapeno peppers. I'm also gonna have to move them into a bigger crack key tub. That's my project for today as well as stringing up the tomatoes. And uh, we'll see what the jalapenos are like next week. There's definitely Again, a nutrient deficiency with this one. This is the plant that I yanked out of one of these plants. I can't remember which one. It was their little companion plant in the grow block. So it's like, it definitely has been stunted and I'm gonna have to do a little research to figure out what's going on here. Thanks for watching. Before you go anywhere, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. 
You don't want to miss any garden updates. See you next time.